Hey, it's Jake Gardner, the Unnamed Podcast. I know I've taken a really long time between this update and the last update. The last update literally took so much from me. I know it was probably my shortest update. I don't think it was a minute. But, uh, yeah, it was incredibly heavily scripted. By that, I mean, I wanted to make sure you knew that I loved you. I wanted to bring up the idea of ableism for a little bit now. No, I still haven't done the proper amount of reading. Not to the point where I feel like I'm a professional. I do have a fun little anecdote for you. So a little while ago, I wanted to go see a movie. I lived in Burlington, Ontario at the time. And for those who don't know Burlington at all, it's a major city. Of course, I'm in a wheelchair. For those who don't know, the movie started, like, we're going to an earlier show, I think it was around 8. And we wanted to get there, of course, around 7 or whatever. So I called the cab company. I was like, hey, I need a wheelchair taxi. And I will also need a second one. Because you have to book these things in advance. For obvious reasons. I need a second one roughly. Uh, I think the movie was like an hour and a half long. So I told them for like 9.30, 10. To which they replied, well, we don't do wheelchair taxis after... I don't remember exactly what this said. I think it was 8. Needless to say, I didn't see that movie. Don't remember what movie it was. I know I didn't see it in the end. But it was like... A year later? Anyway, my point just being, ableism is not one of those things that's punching you in the face on a daily basis. Really, ableism is kind of insidious. You don't really notice things like ableism until you're told no. Which I guess is true of most, most forms of discrimination, but not all. The real kick in the face for me is when you hear of a company that's like, we have wheelchair parking, we have disability parking. Not that I don't appreciate it. It's fantastic when companies are finally catching up to what's going on in the greater societal trend. Where my issue comes in, disabled parking, disability services, Handlebars and bathrooms, automatic doors, they're better on every level for every single person. No, you don't necessarily need to take the ramp. No, you don't need the ramp. For example, let's go with ramps, because they're the easiest one. But the woman with the double stroller pushing her kids would find it so much easier As well as the person in the wheelchair. As well as the guy with the cane. Or woman with the cane. Person with the cane. Let's go with the person with the cane. Not have those options in place already is one, you're ostracizing everybody who is in a wheelchair. Completely losing out on the bit of disposable income that the disability community has. You're also ostracizing people who have strollers. People who have a mild physical disability and they maybe can't do stairs. Uh, Automatic doors are great. I always loved automatic doors. You don't need a button, but it helps. If someone goes to use the washroom and there's a handlebar there, if they don't use it, great. But you don't need a mobility issue in order to appreciate and use it. Do not have these things in place for able-bodied people. Let alone the disabled community. Doesn't make sense. Every store should have a ramp. Every public thing that requires customers should have a ramp. Not just for the disabled community, as I stated. The fact that we live in a society in a world that doesn't necessarily have those things 
doesn't make a lick of sense. Let's go back to the parking issue for a moment. Wouldn't all parking spaces be better off able to be wheelchair accessible? Wouldn't it be more convenient for everyone if spaces were just that foot wider? Granted, I do understand you wouldn't be able to pack as many vehicles into a parking space. Parking parking lot. There comes a bunch of other issues talking about like general population of people coming into the store and things like that. But to have the accessible parking just for people in wheelchairs now creates a them versus us economy. Sure, people, disabled people, need extra assistance, kind of. But to decree that we require special attention then puts us into a place where we are the other. We are someone who isn't the norm. And that seems kind of, uh, discriminatory. And I'm not, I'm well aware that I'm not saying things that are going to be loved by everybody. And like I said, I'm not an expert on this. I haven't done all the required reading I would like to have done. But I still feel like I needed to make this. Still feel like people needed to think about accessibility and things of that nature. Anyway, this has been Jason Garden of the Online Podcast. I love you.